Welcome back, I'm Joe Smoke and Joe Spit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to separate a full pack of brisket. Stay tuned. All right, so what we're starting with is an 18 and a half pound certified Angus beef. Now, you may have heard this called a cab, like a taxi cab. That's exactly what this is. Cab is just certified Angus beef. Now, this is a big brisket, but I've, I've noticed when I took it out of the package, I see some things that I don't like. You know, there's a, whoever butchered this, this brisket did me a favor, a bad favor, and sliced the flat up a little bit, okay? So not one brisket is always gonna be the same. I, I usually stick to Costco Primes, but uh, Costco was closed, and you know, I really like the certified Angus beef briskets, okay? And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna process this or trim this down um, and separate the flat from the point itself. So what I start with is, you know, I'm just gonna clean this up, and I'm gonna try to clean this mistake that this butcher did, okay? So I'm just gonna take some of this fat off, and I'm starting with a really sharp knife. In fact, I'm gonna start off with my fillet knife, just like this. And take some of this fat off of the off of the flat. Now, traditionally, um, burnt ends are made just with the point itself. Okay, but I'm going to make point ends out of this entire brisket, which is something you don't hear about. So, I'm going to show you the start to end trimming process. Okay, just trim some of this fat off. Almost like if you're gonna cook it whole, but knowing that, that we're gonna separate this and turn it into burnt ends. And burnt ends, I'm not gonna do that on this video, I'm just showing you the, uh, the, the trimming process, if you will. But burnt ends are amazing. Now, if I was gonna smoke this whole pack of brisket, I wouldn't separate it unless you're doing a competition you know, a lot of competitors, especially in, in KCBS, will separate the point from the flat. Not so much in IBCA. Okay. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix this mistake right here. And the best way to do it is find where it meets the top and the inside where they cut it. And just kind of do this right here. See what I did? I just went right through it. And then try to correct it. Now, if this was a competition brisket, I'd be in a little bit of trouble because they gouged into this, but I'm gonna be making burnt ends out of this brisket, so I'm not too worried about it, okay? And I can, again, use these trimmings for sausage, so I'm gonna save that. All right, so you can see the, hopefully you guys can see the nice marbling that these certified Angus beef briskets have. And a cab is kind of a, in between your standard select which is what a lot of grocery stores like Walmart sell. They sell a select brisket and then you'll have your prime. So the cab is kind of the in-between brisket. Okay, so that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this deckle. Actually, I'm gonna remove this piece here because it's just all loose meat that I'm not gonna use. This is some of your point. But again, because of the loose ends and stuff, I'm not going to use it. I can save this and use it for sausage later. Trim some of this fat here. This is all fat. This is on the deckel side, okay? This is the deckel fat right here. So I'm just trimming this up a little bit. Now, this is the deckel. What I like to do is dig in and Try to separate that as much as you can, and then just run your knife right under it. Okay, so this fat seam is what we're after right here. This is what's going to separate the point from the flat. So I'm going to try to get into that, into that a little bit more, just to see the that fat seam. Okay, you can start to see it here. And it, it goes all the way up to the uh, flat up here. This is what we're after, okay? So, I'm just gonna trim this edge. 
Again, this is all fat. You got a little bit of meat on there, but this is all fat. I like to clean up the edges just to see what I'm working with here. A little bit more. So at this point, this looks good. Let's take a little bit more fat off of the point itself. Now the, the flat, what I'm gonna to try to do is leave the majority of the fat on the bottom of the flat, okay? And the point, I'm gonna trim every ounce of fat off of the bottom and the top, but because I'm gonna make the flat into burnt ends as well, I want some of that, that fat to protect uh, the flat itself. So what you want to do is just start to cut into this fat seam here. And if you see meat, you went, you need to go the opposite direction. Now people do separate this on the other side as well, but I found that this is the easiest way for me anyway to separate these briskets. See how I see meat there? Hopefully you guys can see that. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is stay right under that meat and get into that fat. Let me try to rotate this, okay? Again, just stay, stay right under that meat. You can see that I still have some meat here. Okay, now we're getting into that point, that point meat, which is right where I want to be. Helps to start with a good sharp knife as well. And all this fat is going to come off, okay, so I'm not worried about trimming it like this in layers, okay? A lot of it's going to come off. See that fat seam? Just like that. Bring you guys over to this side. Actually, I'm going to get my my chef's knife now, and again, which is really sharp. You can see that I leaving a lot of fat on the flat portion of the brisket. Here's where they separate. Okay, so this is my flat, and this is my point. Okay, so now the brisket is separated. So I'm going to focus on the flat itself. Okay, all these little thin pieces, just trim them off. Save the trimmings if you if you want to make sausage. This is really thin right here. So I'm just going to trim this right off. Now some stores, some supermarkets, you can buy just the, the flat itself like this. Okay. And again, this is where that butcher kind of cut into the flat. I'm not too happy with that, but it is what it is. Okay. So here's the, the fat on the fat cap. Okay, just gonna trim this down. Nothing too crazy. I'm gonna remove this here. And again, we're making burnt ends out of this whole brisket. I want some fat to protect the flat, but not a whole lot. Trim some more of this fat right here. Just keep your knife flat. I 
Again, we want a little bit of fat on there. It all depends on what you're going to do with the brisket itself. But knowing that I'm going to, again, make burnt ends, I just want a good thin layer of fat to protect the flat so it doesn't dry out on you. If you get into the meat a little bit, don't worry, it's okay. A little bit more of this fat here. You can keep your knife nice and flat. You got a little bit of the point on the flat and that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. And doing this is also going to help the uh, brisket cook a lot faster. Okay. Some more fat here. Again, I just want a little bit of fat. Clean this edge up. It's kind of thin. Take that off and save it. Clean this edge up here. Need a bit more fat here. Okay. So that looks good to me. Just clean this up a little bit more here. And again, if you've never done this before, my recommendation is just to, again, try it, okay? You do it your way. This isn't, uh, this isn't the, quote, proper way, right? This is just the way I do it when I make burnt ends. Take as much or little. If you like fat, then leave more on. But, uh, again, I like a little bit on it. Okay, so this looks good to me. Okay, there's my flat. Okay, so that's exactly how it's going to stay. Move that aside. And here's our point. This is a really big point. Now, you can choose to leave this on or take it off. I'm going to take it off. I know you're probably thinking, man, that's a lot of meat. It is. It really is. But um, I don't need this. Okay. And I can save it, the trimmings for sausage later. Just clean this up as well. You can see how much fat is in here. I'm going to trim all of this fat off. Start in, in sections. keeping your knife nice and flat. This is where the authentic, or the original I should say, burnt ends come from. Just gonna trim this, it's a little thin. There you go. I know that my meat starts right here. So I need to stay right above that. Let me just clean this edge up. You can see that? So that's what we're after, that meat right there. I'm gonna turn this just so I can see it a little bit better.
There you go. That's what we're after right there. You can pick it up if you want to. Push up on the center. Now the point will get thick, but I'm show you. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to even that out. You can stay right above that meat. And the reason you don't need all this fat is because the point itself has a lot of fat in the meat, so you don't need this extra fat. Okay, get rid of this oxidized meat here. You can start to see your point coming alive here. You can just trim all the fat. There's no right, right or wrong way to do this, okay? Just trim all the fat off. Do some more. Trim this edge off. see the marbling on this uh, certified Angus brisket beautiful okay here's a little bit of fat all right this side looks good to me you can see this is again this has some fat right here too so just gonna clean up this edge just so I can see what I'm working with So now we trim the opposite side again, removing all of this fat. This is a lot of fat guys. The, the brisket right now is probably, I don't know. This piece is probably five pounds. This is probably four pounds right now. So you can see how much trimming goes into making burnt ends. That's why they're so expensive because you're having to really, it's not that you waste it. All this, all this trimming, but especially if a barbecue restaurant is making uh, sausage, they can use the trimmings for that. They use a, uh, or they'll make a beef and pork sausage and use these trimmings in that sausage. Or for you hunters out there, you want to make some elk sausage. Save your brisket trimmings because elk is really, really lean. So I'm using my fillet knife now because I want to make some critical cuts here, not, not dig into that flat too much. A lot of this fat will render, but I want to take a lot of it off as well.
All right, so I've got my brisket completely trimmed, the point from the flat, or separated, I should say, and I did leave a little bit of fat, not too much, on the flat portion. Again, I'm gonna make burnt ends out of this whole brisket, but what we started with was an 18 pound brisket, and now we're down to probably, let me see, that's probably four pounds, this is probably six pounds, so maybe 10 pounds, eight to 10 pounds worth of meat. So this is just the, the way I separate a brisket to make, again, burnt ends, or you can buy the flat, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, from, from a grocery store. A lot of grocery stores do sell just the flat portion of it. So this uh, point looks really good, nice and marbled. This is gonna make some really good burnt ends. I've never made burnt ends out of the entire brisket, but I'm gonna give it a shot. But this is just the way that I separate. It's really easy. You don't see me separating a whole lot of briskets, but when I do, uh, this is what I like to do to separate them. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Until next time, Joe is smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.